These days, houses, apartments, even studios are becoming more and more out of reach for first-time buyers, particularly millennials. But why is that? What is making them so expensive? Is it because of greedy people or a failure of the housing system? In this video, we are going to explore the factors which are making houses so expensive. First of all, you must understand that the housing market follows the same rules as any other market. If you want a product, you are presumably willing to pay a price for that product. And if that price meets the expectations of the supplier, the supplier supplies that product to you. This is how all markets work in a nutshell. It's a case of demand and supply. Let's now go a bit further. Some products are more important and demanded than others. Think about gas for your car. Everyone needs it and will have to buy it, even if they are not so happy about that price that they pay. In economics, we call these products commodities. Houses are also commodities, and we are less likely to stop wanting to buy them through changes in price. Now, if you really want to get into the specific factors which drive house prices up, we need to look at individual drivers which push up the demand and push down the supply. A common demand side factor is speculative demand. This is where people, already believing that housing is a good investment, will search the housing market and speculate about a property increasing in value in future. They buy the property in the hope and expectation that it will go up in value. Because house prices overall tend to increase, it is a sound assumption to make. With enough speculative buyers, house prices will be driven up overall. Now let's think about supply side factors. The most obvious factor is the number of houses available to buy. Now let's assume that everyone in group A that wanted a house gets a house and everyone in that group is happy. Great. But let's then assume that people start to hold onto them, either for personal reasons or because they know it's a solid investment to have. This then causes the number of available houses to fall. Group B comes along and notices there are fewer options to buy. So they then realize they need to be offering higher prices to obtain them. Group B get the houses they want, but for more money than Group A paid. Then Group C comes along and homeowners in Groups A and B know that they can sell them for a higher price than what they originally paid. House prices overall go up. We hope you found this short video helpful and interesting. If you fancy learning more about all things finance, go ahead and tap the subscribe button. Until the next video, stay cash bright.